So I found it, ladies and gentlemen. It's right there by the foot panel. Now I have to figure out how to remove it. Hey folks, how's it going? Being here. Um, today I'm going to be at the junkyard. I'm just getting everything all ready. Uh, just because a friend of mine texted me that she wanted to, she needed a part. She couldn't back, get it back out west in Regina. So I might as well go in the junkyard again, taking along you guys with me and show you why I always like going to the junkyard and pick up parts. Anyways, yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm here just to look for a transmission module. Uh, right, right off the bat, I was like, oh man, it's an automatic. But we'll see how it goes. I, uh, I'm going to just pull it out. And yeah, she just texted me this past couple of days ago. She's been looking for her mechanic's been looking for uh, parts for a lot for a while. She can't get it local. So she reached out to me and yeah, that's why I'm going to open up the vlog. Anyways, uh, I got to get in and I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, we made it in. Uh, this is why I don't like going to the junkyard in winter. Can't see anything. Hey, you don't know what brand. It's harder to look. Harder to find. Oh yeah. That's the benefits here in the junkyard, I guess. Gotta look for something. Alright, good news, I found it. Bad news is it's full of snow. So I have to dig in and look for the transmission module here. Uh, normally it's outside, but I don't know where to place the, the camera. It's hard for me to hold it and film at the same time. So I gotta do a lot of, a lot of digging here. So by the time this is done, I will, yeah, I'll just show it to you what it looks like. So I found it, ladies and gentlemen. It's right there by the foot panel. Now I have to figure out how to remove it. Oh, it's gonna be a tricky one. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, I got it out. See? This is the transmission module. Whew. So what I did is basically took apart the interior dash the kick panel of the vehicle it was wedged in there you see these two wires were in the way the harness uh it was a little bit tricky to get in i didn't get in film sorry uh, i only have two set of hands so i can't film and uh record it at the same time so that's what i did and there was two uh, bolts in there I don't know if you can see there's one there right where the firewall is you can see my pry bar marks and yeah it was tricky it was tricky so I'm tired and I gotta look for another part I think the, my GoPro is dying right now um, yeah, that was a tricky one. So I'm not too sure how much they're going to charge it to put it back in. But my point of view is when I took it out, it was really tricky to get in there. So I wouldn't imagine, I would imagine it will be tricky, more tr tricky to put it back in. But who knows, depends on the mechanic, how they do it. But I got the good glamps. I got a good idea. Sorry. <laughs> it's cold. Hey folks, sorry about that getting cut off. Oh man. 
it's just exhausting all this weather cold weather and cold climate the ca the camera is no good like the battery camera uh, the camera on the battery is no good so it doesn't last that long so anyways i'm inside my vehicle just warming up it was really cold i spent at least a couple hours uh like an hour just to get that module out and i sent a picture to compare it to the uh, mechanic uh, apparently it's the wrong one so i gotta talk to the mechanic uh that my friend is talking to so we'll go from there um, I'm just exhausted, a little winded. Well, it's a workout. Uh, strong winds, snow, and you're dragging a cart along the way. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna end the uh, not end the vlog, but uh, I'll meet you at my my uh, computer. Uh, let me just gather myself. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, folks. So that was a. Uh tricky day uh, that was a tough day for me dragging all that cart all the tools in the snow and yeah and I found out that it's the wrong part uh, different part numbers on certain vehicles that's the thing with uh, Jeep Dodge Chrysler Fiat and Dodge Ram they basically all four manufacturing uh, Put all the parts together not all parts uh, uh, what is what it is it's different style modules put in together so I talked to uh, a friend of mine's mechanic his name is Brian really we're really great guy I spent at least an hour talking to him about the situation that he found out with that transmission, so he told me that the transmission was replaced from a different garage. Normally, yeah, if the transmission is replaced, because I found out also it's a CVT transmission, uh, continuous variable transmission. It's a belt driven transmission. They don't uh, build up what it used to be. Uh, like normal standard with a transmission with a torque converter and it's like clutch disc um, I also found out it was made from a company called Jacko uh, Jacko is uh, notorious for transmission dying it's from um, either uh, Mitsubishi or Nissan uh, whatever you do with those transmission they don't last a long time and to find a good transmission for it it's really hard to find because again it's the same problem for every vehicle so when they uh when he told me that the module that on other vehicles that he put on didn't work because they need a special software I even asked him if the uh, the VIN code of the engine matches with the transmission module because the PCM power control module is controlling the transmission module so it's basically communicating each other so I was uh, I was hoping if those two were communicating but he said that it needed a special software for a module a lot of techs uh, will understand it's just basically not communicating each other because they needed uh, power uh, there was a special chip on it on certain vehicles I was actually looking up online what kind of vehicles were on uh, certain vehicles that modules have it doesn't give me a specific it doesn't give me a specific uh part for it cuz like I get like I said Brian talked to me uh spoken to me about it he tried the different modules from what he can find there it didn't fit asking for uh $1300 for it and I know my good friend 
a mine, uh, doesn't have that much money just to put on a little for a little square box that needs to get the uh, engine running. I just want don't want any more problems. I just want me the car be running in pristine condition. Couple of days to research it and see what is available and I can see it online but it's I'm not 100% sure it will fit on that certain vehicle so it needs a special chip just to make it run correctly oh I hope you guys understand this is the why getting to that technology I'm like why are they putting so much technology on vehicles if they just want they say they make it better but as a mechanic for me it's hard to find the right part for that vehicle to, to make it run properly uh, anyways um, I don't have anything else to say, but I'm still researching and I'm doing the video editing note too. So put a comment down below if you had the same situation with finding heart, uh, finding the part and it doesn't run right. Let me know. We can work this out and we'll work it out together. Uh, anyways, I got a lot of work to do. And I'm still in the middle of phone calls with the mechanic, a good friend of mine, and looking for this part. Please, when you guys buy a car, please do a research before you buy it. I'm already having a hard time looking for a part. Anyways, until then, stay fly. And peace.